Hi, I'm Joe from JD Medical, and I'm going to be going over the LAPD 1000 uh, large animal passive anesthesia machine uh, components and function in operation. Uh, this is a standard LAPD 1000, a uh, little bit of a newer version, so a couple slight differences, but it operates exactly the same. Um, the only difference between this model and the machine that you currently have is that this is a standard LAPD 1000. It does not have um, a small animal uh, circle system absorber like yours does mounted to the front, but all operations are going to be the same. So we're going to go over the components of this machine, um, your machine, uh, but we will leave out that part, uh, but I will explain how that works at, uh, at, the, at the very end. So um, we'll first start off with the basic flow uh, and go uh, along with the components along the way. So to start off, uh, you have an oxygen inlet in the back that distributes oxygen to the flow meter and the flush. Uh, first, we'll start with the flow meter. So the gas comes into the flow meter. Uh, the flow is adjusted from zero to 10 liters per minute using the flow meter knob. Uh, so you set your flow rate uh, according to the animal that you have. Um, the oxygen will flow through the flow meter um, and into the vaporizer. Um, this is a Tech 3 vaporizer. Uh, you have a slightly different style of vaporizer, but still operates on the same principles. Um, so you set your percentage of isofluorine by adjusting the dial, um, and the gas will flow through the vaporizer, pick up the, uh, the vaporized anesthetic gas, and the gas will come out of the vaporizer and into the fresh gas line that comes down and enters the circuit underneath the machine. Um, that fresh gas will come through the uh, inspiratory valve to the patient and through the patient hose. Which connects to both valves. So the fresh gas comes out to the patient to the Y into the endotracheal tube, and when they exhale, it comes back out through the expiratory hose and through the expiratory valve uh, into the absorber, which would be filled with uh, soda lime granules uh, to absorb the CO2. Uh, the valves here, inspiratory and expiratory, keep the gas moving in the proper direction, so this valve will only let the gas go out to the animal, and when they exhale, it will pass through the expiratory valve into the absorber. The absorber pulls out the CO2, and then the fresh gas gets mixed with the oxygen and isofluorine coming in underneath and goes to the patient, um, and that completes the circle system. Um, the circle system also includes a, an adjustable pop-off valve that you use to adjust the pressure in the system. Um, this generally would be left open or mostly open um, unless you're using it with a ventilator, um, but I don't believe that there's any ventilator in this situation, so generally this will operate in the open position uh, or mostly open if you'd like to generate a little back pressure. The tube connected to the top of the absorber um, goes to the pressure gauge here, which monitors your uh, circuit pressure or airway pressure of the patient. Um, this will read anywhere from zero to uh, about between 80 and 120 usually. Um, most of the time you want to remain between zero and 20 centimeters of water pressure on that gauge. Um, the only other major component of the system is the flush. The flush valve bypasses the vaporizer and puts out uh, pure oxygen into the system to, um, to either flush the system or to add more oxygen if the patient needs more oxygen. Um, if there's too much uh, anesthetic gas, if it's too deep and you want to give just pure oxygen and dilute the mixture in the system, um, hitting the flush will, uh, will add a, a blast of uh, pure oxygen into the system. Um, so in general operation, uh, you'll have your patient circuit hose uh, connected to a Y piece that goes to the animal. Uh, you'll have the absorber full of absorbent material, soda lime or carbo lime, whichever brand you choose to use. Um, make sure that the uh, 
knobs are tight holding the absorber canister in place uh, so that you don't have any leaks and uh, adjust your flow and your isofluorine settings accordingly and make sure that you have a bag attached underneath. Um, underneath the inspiratory valve, there's a bag attachment uh, for a 15 or a 30 liter bag. Um, you can also use it with smaller bags with an adapter. And the bag attaches like so, um, and that completes the uh, rebreathing circle system. So the bag will inflate and deflate as the uh, patient takes breaths. Um, and use a bag uh, size according to the size of the patient. Um, you do have to have a bag here for the machine to operate properly. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the general operating uh, function of the machine. The major components, um, take the hoses off so you can also see how the absorber comes apart. This particular machine has a quick connect fitting. There uh, is usually a hose barb fitting that you can remove to remove the top of the absorber. There's just four wing nuts that come off to change the absorbent. And there are four washers underneath. You make sure that you don't lose those. So remove the top, take the absorber out, and fill the absorber with absorbent, and place the absorber back. Make sure it's centered. Put the top back so the rods line up. The washers back on. And then add the nuts. Tighten them in a crosswise pattern so that they're even. So two and two. And make sure you reconnect the pressure hose. Um, the only other part of your machine that we need to talk about is the um, small animal absorber that's mounted on the front. Um, that can be used with small hoses, the same flow meter and vaporizer can feed it. The only thing that needs to be done and that I don't see in the pictures is the hose uh, that runs from the vaporizer to supply the gas uh, to that. Um, you need a hose, uh, we would need a hose from the uh, fresh gas on the side um, that would come around and feed that head. There's a small nipple where the bag mount is. Um, and a hose can be made or added to that uh, so that you can supply the vaporized gas to it. If you already have a hose like that, then that's also fine. Um, but, uh, but that would need, I didn't see it in the pictures, so that would need to be added to make that a fully useful um, component of the machine. Um, but otherwise, it's a very simple piece of equipment. Uh, the flow is, uh, is very simple from the flow meter to the vaporizer. Um, and into the system uh, to, to the patient and from the patient through the directional valves um, and uh, of course the CO2 absorber um, and the bag. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple piece of equipment. If there's any questions, please feel free to ask any questions by email or phone call. We're always available and thanks for watching.